Hello Fortnite Save the World fans. Today I got my hands on the new typewriter submachine gun and like always I'm gonna let you know if it's worth leveling up. The typewriter submachine gun is a mid-range assault weapon with a high capacity magazine and a lateral kick. Its shooting profile makes it ideal for clearing groups of nearby enemies in mobile engagements. It does have static perks meaning everyone is gonna get the same perks. They can be changed with the perk recombobulator, so I'm not going to go over the perks today. So let's take it out in the field and see how it does. I have the typewriter in a power level 23 mission. It's at power level 20 right now with no perks unlocked. The reason I do that is because I like to test out a weapon before dumping a bunch of schematic XP into it because I really don't want to waste schematic XP on a weapon I'm not going to use down the road. I want to start off by testing the fire rate and the accuracy of the typewriter by firing into the cliff site over here. As you can see, it is pretty accurate. It has a little bit of a left to right sway to it that you have to keep under control, but not too bad overall. The 50 round magazine should really be good at dispersing husks. What I did notice though as I'm firing it, it does kind of sound like a typewriter, like someone's banging away at the keys. So let's go test this thing out against a few husks. Alright, I'm going to start off by testing the typewriter against this small encampment over here. And the typewriter's specialty is supposed to be dispatching groups of enemies while on the move, so... Most of my shots here are going to be from the hip and on the move as I'm backing up and trying to circle around these guys. So, so far performing as advertised, not doing too bad of a job dispatching these guys. Reload speed was a little slow there, but that's kind of going to be expected with this type of gun. It does have a 50 round magazine though, so reload speed really shouldn't be a problem and that can be fixed in the perk recombobulator. Alright guys, I found another small encampment over here. With the first encampment, I tested out the on-the-go capabilities of the typewriter, and it did pass with flying colors, killing enemies on the go as advertised here. So this one I really want to test out the accuracy, and it is doing pretty well. It has, like I said before, a little bit of a left or right sway to it, but overall pretty easy to handle. I'm going to go back to killing these guys with the on-the-go capabilities of the typewriter here. And... Uh, like I said, it, it is handling them pretty well. It is very impressive. What I would work on, though, in the perk recombobulator definitely would be the reload speed. That really seems to be the only drawback of the gun so far, but that can definitely be fixed. Say hello to my little friend. I am the carbide father. Yeah, I know, that was horrible. I do feel like a gangster with this thing, though. So far, loving the weapon. Okay guys, final test of the typewriter here. I'm going to see how it handles this baseball player and this sky ghost in the distance here. And uh, accuracy proving uh, pretty good here. This guy's very good at dodging my shots though, so I'm going to try to hit him the best that I can as, as he's beating on me here. And uh, just testing out that hit fire action on, on him. Uh, working pretty well. Uh, did a pretty good job of taking those two guys out. But anyway guys, on to my final thoughts. So what do I think of the new typewriter, guys? It's not going to be the best assault class weapon in the game, but it is definitely worth picking up and adding to your library. A few minor tweaks in the perk recombobulator are going to make this gun really good. I would change the first perk to fire rate. It is definitely lacking in that department. And when you get the choice between Obsidian and Shadow Shard, I think Obsidian's actually going to be the better choice for this weapon. The second perk, I would up the reload speed. It is a little slow, and it would definitely help this gun out. Once those two little changes are made, I think this is going to be a really great gun. It does perform as advertised. It is a great killing machine on the go. Its accuracy isn't the best at long range, but that's really not what it's for. Anyway, guys, pick this up while you can, and I really hope you're enjoying the channel, and if you are, please hit that like button on the video, and please subscribe. If you're enjoying the channel guys please don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's located right down there in the corner and ask me anything you want in the comment section i'd be happy to help you out and i'll get back to you as soon as possible